Hi guys, welcome to Freedom with Frida, the best place for personal growth, entrepreneurship and a touch of music because fun is necessary. Now, I know some of you are working or some of you um, in school and they're looking to have a side hustle and you've been thinking what's the best side hustle you can have in Kenya right now that can bring you some few coins and that is what I'm about to talk to you about today. But before anything else, let's hit the subscribe button and join the family. Now, I want to talk about small businesses that you can call in quote side hustles that can bring you some money or just a business that is small you can start with a little capital and you still grow and it's gonna bring you some money or just a few coins at the end of the month or at the end of the week or every single day depending on how much of a focus you put into it. Now first business which I think brings a lot of money and which i think is less spoken of and um one thing i need to say about this business is it can only work best when you are the one that is doing it and this is movie business i know it needs a little bit of expertise and all that because of course you have to be very aware. you have to be one person who loves movies and series and all that or you have to have a partner who loves that. Again, this business you can start alone or you can start with a friend. And I'm sure with 100K, you can start somewhere. Even with 50K, you can start somewhere. And I did a calculation of how much I spend those days when I used to do a lot of movies and a lot of series. I did a calculation of how much I spent um, on my movies and man it's a lot like every time I walk to a movie shop I would leave like 100 or 150 and I'll go back like twice or three dries in a week that is when I was very idle when I was a movie addict by the way I was once a movie addict and at some point I decided to speak with this guy and I was like so how much you make in a day on a bad day how much you make and he was like uh, on a bad day uh, especially when kids are in school because kids are doing a lot of movies and he was like around 2500 and like what 2500 in a day on a bad day and it was like yeah and that made a lot of sense because if i go there and live 200 and i'm not i'm not like this very idle person like i'm rarely in nakuru because my movie guy is based in nakuru and the guys who every now and then are walking to a movie shop like the guys who watch movies every single day so it's very possible to walk away with 2,000 in a day. So guys, that movie business will bring you money. And all you need is space. All you need is do a lot of Googling and a lot of inquiring and a lot of research on, you know, trendy movies. And with internet, nowadays, it's very easy to know what is trending and, and all that. And download and have good internet. And, and of course, space, because you're going to have a lot of uh, movies and series you're storing. And you do more things in it. Like for him, he sells um, baby toys, he sells music mixes, song mixes. Like if you want R&B mix, he still sells them. And you're good to go and let people know. Like I have a group he formed. Um, like when I started getting movies from this guy, I joined a group that is for him. Now he updates people on what is trending. Like if it's a series, when there's a new episode, you will upgrade there. And there are guys who literally go and pick just one or two episodes of that season because they can't wait. So guys, movie business will get you some money. The only issue I have is if you have someone doing it for you, they might be making themselves rich and you might not be making good money. But if you're getting into it yourself, then I can promise you you're about to make some good money. At least on the lower side, 40,000 a month. That is not little money, right? To start with. The second business that you can do that I think will be a good start off for you or a good side hustle uh, is egg business. If you have nothing to do, or you're like, I really need to make money, then this is a good business for you. And this is going to cost you a starting capital of around a thousand Kenya shillings. That one you can copper from Entrari or, or Branch or whatever it is. I don't know. Or maybe get your friend to give you a thousand Kenya shillings. So a tray of eggs will go for around 250 to 300 Kenya shillings. Um, you need, of course, uh, a bucket that you can be going around with. This is a clear bucket. You also need 
um tomatoes i know as i make this video tomatoes is a trendy thing it's very expensive you need salt and you need some energy <laughs> so you can walk around and all you need is just go to people's offices sometimes just get to know a few guys in different offices and tell them i'll be bringing eggs somehow kenyans giving 20 shillings for eggs for them feels like very a, a cheap thing like a very easy thing like <laughs> i was seated somewhere and we we're having a drink and this mama came round uh it was like a small kebab and this mama came round giving selling eggs and she sold 11 eggs and i was like okay okay chick 11 eggs like times 20 that is already 220 and i realize it's very easy for guys to give you 20 and some will eat even three give 20 and as you go around you'll be like uh give me another one so egg business will get you more money at the beginning you will not make much money because you bought you know all these things you bought the bucket which you'll be using every now and then you bought um you need a jiko if you need to you know boil them and and and, furia and all that but at the end of it all it's very good business to make money for you and it's money you can make every single day so egg business is another side hustle that you can start now the third side hustle you can have or the third small business you can start is cake baking and this one you only need to do a few um tricks now the third business that you can do and that can bring you some money is cake baking or baking or that it could be cakes could be queen cakes or whatever it is that you want to start with and uh there's a lot of events happening nowadays occasions of birthday um there is a baby showers there's anniversary there is um engagements and all that all you need is to learn a few ways of making cakes through the internet that is if you're not an expert if you're an expert good for you and learn just how to make how to decorate what different type of cakes and go out there and start baking and i think when it comes to businesses one thing you need to be very good at is marketing because sometimes we buy not because your goods are the best but because your marketing strategy got to us and we're like i want to try you I just want to try you sometimes it's not just how good your products are but just how good is your marketing let people know what you do so cake bake, baking could be something else that will bring you money and it is bringing money and the cool thing with this is you may start with three two cakes and with time you grow you start making now queen cakes you start making black forest you start making you know different type of cakes and you start learning more as you move along so cake baking is a third business that you could start and start with the people you know start when you're having a birthday for your cousin is having a birthday tell them i'll make a cake for you don't buy a cake for 800 i'm gonna make it and sell it to you for 600 that's how people spread the rumors you know the gossip of frida makes cakes that's how it goes around you start here with the friends with the family and the two friend and it will spread and of course you're gonna make more and more and make more money now the fourth business that you could start that could make money for you is mitumba business second hand clothes um this one i've done it if you've watched my video of when i got sacked at some point i sold mitumba i sold I got a bill and I had to go around and sell clothes and if you're keen, if you listen to that video pretty well, I'll link up here so you can uh, watch it. I made my money back and an extra 20k, you know, from that bill within two weeks. That's how great this business can make money for you. For me, I believe in doing it online or going around. That is depending on how how busy your schedule is. So online selling nowadays is everything use your social media platforms and it's going to bring you a lot of clients a lot of sales so get a bill or go and take your time and look for the best outfits the best dresses the best shoes the best handbags come and clear them up if it's clothes you can iron them up and let them look good display them take photos and send to people and let them start now flowing into your instagram account or to your whatsapp you know um ordering that's how you need that's what you need you need but then you need to start with around a thousand to about two thousand kenya shillings so if you want to get a bed it's 10 to twenty thousand kenya shillings and like previous video i did on 
uh, campus businesses that you can do. I talked about that, so maybe you could look that up also on the description box below. But Mitumba is another business that can make you money. The fifth business you can start and make money from is mobile manicure, pedicure, and nail art. And I started with mobile. This is because I realized there's a gap when it comes to um, nail art and manicure and pedicure because guys are busy during the week you know, with their jobs and work and businesses and all that. And during weekends, that's when people find time to go to salons and make their nails and make their hair and, you know, clean up and manicure and pedicure. And at some point, I actually thought of starting this and I realized I didn't have much time. So what you need to do is, of course, again, do some research on the internet and get to understand if you're good at nails, good for you. If you're not, then get to understand how you can do the fixing and all that. Manicure, I mean, get to know how they wash the legs or their hands and all that. And you only need to do a few research on the internet or just go to this one of these salons and have spend a thousand bob, get your manicure and pedicure done and learn a few tricks. Ask a few questions. How much do you buy this scrubber? How much you get um, this nail cutter? How much you get all those things that they're using? Get to know them, then go online and get to know their prices and purchase them. I am sure it's gonna, I can promise you because I had done the research when I wanted to start the business. For the manicure and pedicure I realized it's gonna cost me around 6,000 Kenya shillings. And then provide these services to people in their homes. That's the best way to beat competition. Let people know, go to these offices, give them business card, do some brochures and let them know what to do. So they can call you whenever they need services at the comfort of their home. Okay, so they don't have to go to the salon because sometimes people don't go uh, get to get their manicure and pedicure simply because they don't have the time, not money. So look at the gap of time here and provide them services, provide them with those services and the comfort of their home places it's gonna make you money it's gonna make you money and you'll get so many referrals let people know you are available even in the evening when they're out of work you know at six let them know and the best way the other way you can go about it is get people who also want to work with you so when you get two or three clients and you're busy then you can send someone to go and you know work for you so mobile manicure and pedicure and nail art will get you money. All right, I hope all these businesses help you to think beyond your comfort zone and think about the little money that you have and just how well you can invest it and get a few coins or make it a side hustle. Thank you so much for stopping by. Always speak well of yourself. And until next time, bye.